What is good, Lee Loves? It's your girl Leah, and I'm back with another video. Back, 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 back. I feel like I haven't came on here and talked to you guys in a minute about the wedding, so I figure why not make a video to update you guys on the wedding. So, as you guys know, I have been planning this wedding for a good little minute, about two years actually, because when I first got proposed to. I was in the middle of trying to buy a house and I knew that I wanted to get my house out the way before I actually started planning a wedding. So that's exactly what I did. But anyway, fast forward, um, we started planning the wedding, COVID hit. So when COVID hit, it set back a lot of things because weddings that were prior to my, to mine, um, they pushed their wedding back, which interfered with mine. So, like, I had to book my venue and everything super duper early to make sure that I was going to go ahead and keep, you know, that wedding venue, that wedding date. Um, Ronnie and I originally wanted to get married on New Year's Day, but a lot of the venues weren't open New Year's Day or it was like triple the price New Year's Day. So we decided to go with the weekend after New Year's. So that's just, that's why we get married on January 8th. If anybody was wondering why we, how we got that date, it's just that's just how I had no special date, just me. But um yeah, so COVID hit, everything started, you know, getting back to normal, and then boom. If you guys do not know, I am from Louisiana, so um Hurricane Ida really like ruined a lot of stuff and it's like we had no idea that the hurricane was gonna cause that much damage to the city like a lot of places got damaged a lot of people lost their homes a lot of people lost their jobs their cars just a lot of stuff and thank God my home was okay we had minor damage but we still went like two weeks without lights. Um, cold, freezing cold water. Like, that was, oh, God. But I just thank God that my family and I are still here. My, fam my, my friends are still here. And it's like, you know, everything is going to slowly get back to normal. But as far as the wedding, like, a lot of things interfered with um, things that I had already had planned, like, my bachelorette trip was a complete I wouldn't it wasn't a fail I definitely enjoyed myself but all of the girls could not come could not make it due to the hurricane due to being out of lights due to having responsibilities and everything else so like that was that just ruined my bachelorette trip but the people that did came was still able to come they still made sure I enjoy myself, and I thank God for that. So, that kind of ruined my bachelorette trip. So, I will insert some clips in this video to show you guys. Like, I really didn't enjoy myself. But as far as, like, the hurricane, it kind of, like, pushed a lot of things backwards. So, I really didn't. Y'all, I got a bump right here, and I keep on looking at it. But yeah, um, as far as like wedding festivities, it really like messed with a lot of stuff. Um, what else? Um, my, I lost my train of thought, y'all. Um, update on pretty much stuff with the wedding. Um, I did get my dress. I think I want to say last Thursday, I went pick up my dress. I cannot fit it. Like, my dress will not zip. I don't know if I've been eating too much hurricane snacks or I just have been eating too much, period. But I have to lose 7 to 10 pounds to fit my dress. I cannot fit my dress, y'all, like, at all. I'm so hurt by it, but, you know, it's just going to encourage me to lose this gut that I want to lose anyway. But, yeah, I cannot fit my dress. Um, The girls' dresses are being made, as you guys know. Um, as far as my decorator, caterer, 
dress, everything, all of that is the same. Um, the company who I was renting the bus from, buses got damaged. So, like, I'm in the process of trying to find a different transportation bus for the wedding party. So, that's one thing. Um, my bridal shower is actually coming up in two weeks. Which I will vlog that for you guys. I will try my best to vlog that for you guys. Because I was unable to really vlog the bachelorette like I wanted to. And also, I was really just trying to focus on having fun. Rather than vlogging. Hold on, y'all. The sun is really... I'm pulling up at home. But I'm going to sit in my dry when you talk to y'all. But yeah, I was really trying to focus on really having fun with everything going on back home because i ended up canceling the trip and then i realized i couldn't get my money back for the airbnb so i ended up still doing it y'all excuse my hair because i look a mess but anyway um i ended up canceling it then i decided you know what you know we don't have lights back home it's really nothing we can do back home so why not still go so i decided to still go but some of the girls weren't able to participate, which sucked because we had been planning that for a while. But it's like the hurricane came, you know, it was nothing really I could do about it. So I still decided to go. And I enjoyed myself for the most part. Um, We really did have fun with, you know, my sister came. um, My two cousins came. My friend came. My mom came and her friend came. So, like, we did. We still turned up. You know turn up it's always a turn up when you know when i'm around okay period but yeah so um the bridal shower is coming up the bridal shower is october 9th um i will vlog for you because everyone in the wedding will be at the bridal shower so i'm gonna vlog for you guys uh show you guys everything it's gonna be really beautiful. I can't wait. Um, we did have to flex a few things because a lot of people had damage um, and was affected by the hurricane. So we had to switch up a lot of things last minute. But shout out to my sister. She still has been coming through with everything for the bridal shower. I literally came up with nothing for the bridal shower. So shout out to her. I love her today. Um, that's gonna be. Like I say, October 9th, and I'm definitely going to vlog for you guys as much as I can. Um, that's still on. So, yeah, I'm really just trying to get back to this wedding series because I want everyone to see my journey. And then I recently was thinking about doing a wedding week vlog, basically, that Monday to that Saturday, maybe maybe that Tuesday to that Saturday, because I think I'm actually going to work that Monday and Tuesday of the wedding week. But I'm actually going to vlog that for you guys. If y'all would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. If y'all would like to see me vlog my wedding week, I think that would be pretty fun seeing me get ready for the wedding. But yeah, like a lot of things has been chaos. Like I have been stressed out because I feel like I've been planning things for a while. And it took for one thing to happen too make me have to change everything um my venue had a little bit of damage but it wasn't much so as far as i know like as of now my wedding date still stands in the same spot at the wedding venue so that's that's cool and all um but yeah i just really want to give you guys an update on a lot of things that changed and you know hopefully everything gets back to normal and we can get back into this groove of these vlogs and everything else um i'm trying to make sure i don't miss anything i think that was pretty much it yeah i think that was pretty much it but um thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave your girl comments in the comment section below let me know if you would like to see me vlog my wedding week or even every day i would upload up until the wedding day um i'm actually looking for someone to video um 
for my channel because I do have a videographer that's going to be videoing for as far as our wedding tape but I want a separate video for just my channel so I'm actually in the process of finding somebody to do that but um yeah other than that guys everything is still on we just had to flex a few things but other than that you know a Jenkins journey period see you guys in my next video bye peace